everybody. I'm Lisa and behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Bill Lisa. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today we have ranked the six roller coasters in Disneyland and Disney California Adventure from number six being the one we like the least, even though really we like all of them, but down to number one, the one we like the most. Let's get started. Number six on the list is the Matterhorn Bobsled. The reason that this ride is our least favorite ride is because it's a really, really rough ride. Even though it only goes 27 miles an hour, it has a lot of really sharp turns and drops that are kind of jarring. And it actually hurts my back sometimes after I get off the ride. So that has made this number six on our list. This ride is a fun, exhilarating ride as long as you don't mind how rough it is. This was the very first roller coaster in Disneyland. And on the right side track, there are two abominable snowmans that you're gonna see that are big and scary and come out of nowhere. They're really very exciting, but let's talk a little bit about the history of the ride. Like I said, this was the first roller coaster in Disneyland. This actually, the idea for this ride was brought to Walt Disney when he went on a trip to Switzerland. He was there for an extended period of time and while he was there, he visited the Alps and he noticed Matterhorn Mountain. He happened to be at a souvenir shop and he found a souvenir postcard with a picture of the Matterhorn on it. He bought that postcard, he mailed it back to California to one of his Imagineers named Vic Green. The only thing the postcard said is, Vic, period, build this, period, Walt. And that is where the dream began. This ride, as you can see, has some really sharp, fun turns going downhill the entire time. It is 80 feet tall, so after the initial climb, the entire ride is downhill. It is in and out of the mountain. Some of it's inside, some of it's outside. You can see the snow from the idea behind the Matterhorn in Switzerland. And some of these, as you just saw, are a little bit rough. Even watching the video, you can see some of the rough areas of these turns. But they are really, really fun, as long as you can brace yourself properly to enjoy the ride and not suffer an injury to your back after. There is the second snow monster, the abominable snowman. And that addition was added later on when they did a remodel of the Matterhorn. They actually did a remodel of the Matterhorn not too long ago as well to change the queue when you're walking in, and it just reopened. My mom hadn't been on this ride for quite some time and we recently wow. rode it and she did enjoy it and it wasn't as tough on her as she expected. Oh, Number five on the list is the Gadget Go Coaster. This roller coaster gets up to 21.7 miles per hour and it is in Toontown. This ride actually was put in three years after Chip and Dale okay, Rescue Rangers went off the air. Oh, it is based on wait one of the, the characters, Gadget, in that cartoon. It only lasts for 44 seconds and it's actually called a junior roller coaster because it is made for children in Toontown. But it is a really fun ride and it has some really fun things to look at. As you go up high, you can see across Toontown and it's already over just like that. Number four on the list is Hyperspace Mountain. Its top speed is 35 miles per hour, and it was the second roller coaster to open in Disneyland. Walt decided to open this when it, there was so much success with the bobsleds, he wanted a space-themed roller coaster. Now, we weren't able to record the ride for you of Space Mountain because it's just far too dark inside. But this ride makes it on our list as number four because it climbs all the way to the top and it is non-stop. There are no breaks, no time to take a breath in this ride. It is just continuous down until you finally come to the end. But it is Star Wars themed and it is really very exciting and really, really fun. Number three on the list is Goofy's Sky School. 
This is actually one of Bill's favorite rides because it throws you out over the edge and it feels like you're gonna come off the tracks. Its top speed is 27 miles per hour. This ride opened on opening day when Disney California Adventure opened in February of 2001. However, it was titled Mulholland Madness and it was based on Mulholland Drive in Los Angeles. Within the first month of this ride being open, there were three accidents, so the ride was shut down temporarily, they refurbished it, and they haven't had any problems with it since. However, in 2011, they did some more refurbishments to the entire area and a lot of areas in Disney California Adventure. When this ride reopened in 2011, it was retitled Goofy's Sky School. They were trying to integrate Disney characters into Disney California Adventure because it was basically based on Hollywood and areas in Los Angeles prior to that. This ride has a lot of sharp turns, quick drops, and sudden stops. So you have to beware of those stops if you do decide to ride it. But it is a lot of fun. You will really, really love it. And you get an amazing view of Disney California Adventure from the top as you are hanging over the edge. So if you get there, you should ride this ride. That's why it made it number three on our list of roller coasters. Number two on our list is the Incredicoaster. This ride opened in 2001 when Disney California Adventure opened on opening day and it was titled California Screamin'. This ride has a maximum speed of 55 miles per hour. It is the fastest ride in all of the Disney California Adventure or Disneyland Park. It is the fastest and it is so much fun. Right here at the beginning, it stops you, it does a countdown, and you take off so fast uphill. It is incredible and it is such a rush. It is one of my favorite parts of the ride, actually, and makes me scream every time. This ride, actually, when it opened in 2001 as California Screamin', there are tubes that you go through if you've been on the ride, and the tube are decorated with characters so that you have something to look at, but the primary reason these tubes were put on the ride were to meet the sound requirements for the city of Anaheim. What they do is, as you exit the tube, it faces you toward the park so that your screams come out toward the park instead of coming out toward the public and the city of Anaheim. That is a really cool fact because I never really knew why you went into those tubes other than that they just wanted to maybe show you something about what the ride is now, which is the Incredicoaster. <clears throat> the Incredicoaster is based on the characters The Incredibles. It was changed in 2018 when Paradise Pier got a makeover and was changed to Pixar Pier. Pixar Pier is now full of Pixar characters and exciting things to see. But the Incredicoaster, in my opinion, in that area, is the best thing to see. It has a very, very fun storyline. They are trying to catch Jack-Jack, and it's so much fun. The drops and the loops are amazing. This ride does go upside down. It has one loop, and this ride is the longest ride to include a loop in the world. That's pretty incredible. So while it is super fast, it is also really, really fun and very enjoyable. Putting the characters from The Incredibles throughout makes it enjoyable as well, and it gives you a storyline to follow if you're able to relax enough to follow the storyline, that is. But this ride has made it as number two on our list because it is so much fun. And it is Big Thunder Mountain. Its top speed is 35 miles per hour, and the reason that this ride has made it as number one on our list is because in the beginning it climbs, and then you go down, you go through some twists and turns, and then it slows down and climbs again. It then even does it for a third time in the ride. The benefit to that is the climbs give you a chance to catch your breath, and it also gives you some time to look around and see what's going on on the ride because this ride is really, really great and has a lot of fun things for you to look at. This ride was set to open in 1973, but the plans for it were put off 
because of budget cuts, and instead they built Pirates of the Caribbean. Once again, it was set to open in 1974. Again, it was put to the side for Space Mountain and budget cuts. So then it finally was able to open in 1979. And I'm sure glad that it did because I love this ride. This ride is based on a fictional mining town that came across a gold mine. They started mining for gold, but then all of a sudden they learned that the Native Americans had previously resided in that land and cursed it. So all of the miners and all of their families abandoned the mine and now it is said that these trains fly through the mountains without even having an engineer. They are driven by the ghosts that remain in Big Thunder Mountain. The twist and turn that you see right here, this is my favorite turn because you start to turn and then as soon as you think it's done, you turn again, you climb up, you climb down, and it is so much fun. We're getting ready to go up the last climb and this is where they have all of the mining blasts. When this section is working properly, it is incredible because all of the lights light up as you head up the hill and as you get to the top, there are explosions, there's mist, there's steam. It is really, really fun and great. The other thing that you need to know about roller coasters is if you sit in the front, you're gonna have to wait for the back to come over so the front seat generally is the slowest for that reason. It has to go up the top and start going down the, the bottom, waiting for the back to make it over before it gains any speed and momentum. The back sometimes has the same effect because you're waiting for the very front to climb. So we have found that on Big Thunder Mountain, row number 10, which is right about in the middle, is the best. Row 10 is the funnest, it is the fastest, and you really hardly slow down at all. Big Thunder Mountain is definitely number one on our list for a reason. We enjoy it every time and laugh and scream until the ride comes to a complete stop and pulls back into the station. All right, everybody, we're gonna end our video here. Once again, I'm Lisa, and behind the camera is Bill, and together we are Bill Lisa. Thank you so much for watching our video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed thinking about the six roller coasters and counting them down from my least favorite to my most favorite. Even though we love them all and we ride them all, it was fun really to take some time and think about it. So make sure to comment down below which of those six rides is your favorite. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you again for watching our video. Bye.